Now we cut to that scene, we see that he's lost everything in the fire and he almost lost his family in the process. This seems to be a moment of reflection for Cap as he has to live in the moment and appreciate what he has before it's too late and before it's gone. As we wrap up the episode with seeing Cap wanting and needing to play after he lost everything in the fire and he gets love from the fans and he sits down with the team to have a conversation. This conversation, he demands the highest from his teammates and he wants to play for each other. He wants them to root for each other, but he also wants to give it back to the fans, which is a great callback to earlier in the episode when he had that conversation with his agent. This is his way to giving back to the fans, which is giving them the highest level possible for commitment to the game but also winning the game I thought that was a very excellent moment for Kareem who if we're being honest Kareem had a lot more to do in season one and season two was definitely more focused on magic but I love when we get these moments of reflection showing who Kareem was and showing that he wanted to win by any means necessary as the mindset is be the hunter or the hunted, we see Magic is watching Bird, Bird is watching Magic, and we also get a moment where Kareem still has a lot of gas less than a tank as he breaks the record from Wilt, which was the all-time scoring leader of the NBA history, which we all know was a record that was held for over 40 years, which was recently broken by LeBron James. Now for those just kind of curious about what happened during the regular season before we get into this playoff run, Larry Bird was the season MVP, David Stern officially became the NBA commissioner and the Lakers went 54 and 28 that year. As we wrap things up with the Lakers heading into the 1984 playoffs, we see that this team is handling their business, taking care of the Western Conference. Meanwhile, Boston Celtics are trying to do the same thing out on the East Coast as everybody wants the moment we've been waiting for, which is the Boston Celtics versus the LA Lakers in the NBA Finals. As the Celtics are winning their series 3-1, we see Dr. Buss is listening to this game, but he gets a knock on the door. He gets served with paperwork showing that Honey wants $100 million for him. I guess Honey wasn't that sweet. Again, I think this is the last of her, but we'll see what happens in next week's finale. We see the Lakers are listening to the Boston game. Dr. Buzz, who's pissed right now after having that $100 million serving to him, he wants to talk to them before they get into their game, and he wants to put the normal routine aside, and he just wants to beat some ass. And he is calling this a one-sided rivalry, which was very true. Boston and the Lakers, it was a very boston heavy Heavy winning time. There wasn't a lot of wins for the Lakers quite yet between the two different teams. Meanwhile, I love this scene so much. We have Red saying almost the exact same theme about the Lakers, and we get the moment that I love hearing and never gets old. Beat LA. Fuck Boston. Beat LA. Fuck Boston. The monologues from both actors absolutely gave me chill as Red is talking to the Boston Celtics, Bus is talking to the Lakers, and we are setting up the rivalry, the matchup that everyone's been waiting for, know what's about to happen, the matchup between the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers. It's considered to be one of, if not, the greatest finals of all time. Oh. 